so this is Dell laptop and if you see here it is you see here this is Dell 3460 okay and okay so this is how the laptop looks like and let me open the laptop so you can see the branding here uh, the model this is the latitude series 3460 and this is how it looks like yeah now let me turn on the laptop and let's see the time that it takes to boot right now let's see I am counting this um, so almost it took 40 40 um, seconds okay so I'm here inside the laptop yeah if you can see let me show you that this is if I go to task manager and if I go to the performance tab here let me maximize this so you can see this is a 4 GB RAM here, 4 GB right, and then uh, it has two slots. But I'll be upgrading this to oh, oh, one slot of 8 GB so that in in future I can add one more 8 GB. And this is basically an i i i5, and this is a fifth generation i5 5200. Yeah, and then the HDD is 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 the hard disk is HDD. Nevertheless, this is just an HDD. You can see the type HDD. So we will be up upgrading this. Uh, it took around 40 seconds to boot up. Um, now I will go on and show you the process to uh, upgrade the RAM and the hard disk. Okay, so let me shut it down properly. Uh, so you do need the um, RAM and the new hard disk, and then you do need the um, uh, Windows bootable, right? I have a bootable of um, Windows 10. So you just first thing is you have to remove the battery. So you basically go on here and lock is there. So you just slide the lock and the battery is out. Okay. So I'll keep the battery here. Now after that, you have to remove these screws, two screws. Okay, let me just put the camera here. Give a screwdriver one and two. Okay, so once you have these two out, you will have to remove from here. You just can, I mean, use your nails and then remove it. Upwards like this. Like this, you just pull it out. Okay. So you pull it out like this. And now you have the RAM. You can show you. This is the this is the RAM. So to remove this, you have to just slide this one outside, this one outside, and the RAM will pop out. Now if you see here, this is basically a Kingston. 4 GB RAM, right? And this is PC 3L, which means a uh, DDR3. So I'll remove it and keep it here. And then I have the hard drive. So this is the hard disk. So I have to remove these four screws. Make sure to place the screws 
somewhere we where you can then they don't get misplaced right so i'm keeping it right here so that okay i'm removing the last screw this one so it's out now we just have to pull it out like this right and there's a connection uh, so you can just remove the connector from here take this out and i can just pull it out like this so this is the hard disk this is a cj 500 gb hhs uh, hd uh, this will be uh, replaced with a uh, ssd so so this is the ram that we are going to use this is a kingston 8 gb ram okay so we will plug it here so you just have to basically go here and then look at the cut okay the cut and the cut is on also here so if i put it like this it will not go because the cut is not matching so you have to flip it and then once you slide it in and then you have to push it the clips should come over so that this is locked now okay so that's the installation of the agb ram now we have to install the hard drive. so uh, let me get the hard drive so this is the hard disk that i got this is a consistent um, hard disk of 256 gb as you can see on the packet let's remove the hard drive so this is something like this and this is a SATA hard drive so you can see the connectors they both match here and here see like this yeah this is the SATA now we have to basically fix the frame here on the hard disk let's see how to do that you have to remove one two and three and four these four screws So you remove the hard disk, you just have to take out the frame and the hard drive out like this. Okay. So you have the hard disk out, out of the frame. Now we can put this here like this. Okay. Make sure the uh, this screw and the hole aligns. You see like this or you can see like this. Yeah. Now you have to make sure that this basically fits here. Okay, so basically this has to be like this. This one goes here, and the uh, the holes are aligning properly. Okay, so I will go here, and I will. Now you have to see the direction accordingly, but that is how it is. Now that we have this, now let me just zoom in here. Now you have to basically put this here. So you can see this aligns perfectly like this, okay? like this. You keep it inside. And like this, you have to place it back and place the screws, four screws back. Oh, so that's all now we can just put the cover back here so you put this one first in place and then you put this one in place yeah. done and then you tighten up the screws Okay, so that's all. Let's put the battery back. So you align the connector here, this one, in here, and put the battery back. Done. So now I will go on and install fresh windows on this quickly. 
and then you will see the um, how much uh, performance increase we have achieved right from OS installed uh, I would recommend you to, to have a power supply connected when you are trying to install a OS Okay, now that we have uh, done the installation properly, now let's go and shut down the laptop. Now, before that, I will try to show you the configurations again, more details. Let's do this. Now, this is just initializing, that's why you can see the CPU on 100%. So, let's give it some time so that all the processes running in the background are, are completed successfully and this CPU should go the process should go down now for the time being let's go to the performance and this is the CPU let it be like this now we can see the memory so we have this um, 8 GB now installed if you see on the top it's an 8 GB DDR3 and this is 1600 megahertz of speed and clock speed and you can see the hard disk here now you have a 239 GB available of that um, 256 GB of SSD on top let's now close it and now uh, let's go and turn it off shut down the laptop okay now the moment of truth now I want to see if I have uh, I have upgraded the laptop what is the basic uh, performance change so I'll turn it on now let's count three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 13 14 15 so it, it was pretty quick it was not even 15 because I had to enter the password um, so I would say it was around 10 to 12 seconds uh, so there's a huge performance increase from 40 seconds to 10 seconds of boot up speed and also I mean um, you can just see uh, how quickly the applications load right so that is how you do the upgrade on the Dell uh, 36 uh, 3460 um, if you see the model 3460 latitude so that was a whole process uh, how do you do upgrade how do you upgrade the RAM and the and the hard drive which is the SSD in this case so hope you liked my video um, do do not forget to subscribe to my channel um, and uh, share this video as much as possible if um, this video has helped you in any sense thanks for watching bye bye